Brian. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 112, Nasdaq's down 80, S&P's off 2.5. Gold, gold contract down $4, trading at 19.44 an ounce. We have silver down 11 cents, $22.70 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 33 cents, trading out at $83.16 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 20 ticks, trading 110.06. The third year off 29 ticks at 120.25 and king dollar. King dollar. Trading up 345 ticks at 102.869. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 144. And the British pound is at 127 to 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, we get a little divergence here. It's going to get interesting. Coming into the close, that is. So what you have here is that that first leg down this morning, you got a high volume low on the S&P. And that, that baby is sticking out, man, <laughs> like a sore thumb. And that's 4459, OK? Now, if we go over to the NQs, we don't, because the NQs came down, tested it, and rejected it. And if you remember, you know, about three weeks ago, we had the same deal. It was just the opposite, actually. The opposite was that the uh, NQs hadn't tested it, and I think the SPY had. But the bottom line is, is that when we had that, they both end up coming down. As you can see in the NQs, the, the first low that was established out there was uh, 15,652. And we got all the way back up to the... 15,174, no, right, yeah, 15,174, and bang, you go all the way back down. You can see when we hit it, we hit it with 16,000 contracts versus 29. So we'll see how this shakes out coming into the close today. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. The note and bond market are going after its lows. This side. So we get the 10 year down 20 ticks, trading 110.07. We take a look at this, and this is, this is pretty intense, man, you know, because the bottom line is that we're at the low that the last week that rejected that low. And the low that I'm talking about here is the 110.05. And we hit exactly 110.05 today. So we'll see where this baby is. Let me put this on a generic one for a second, because what you also had is that we hardly had any type of bounce. Yeah, we, did, we definitely didn't have a bounce on this thing. So I'm going to put this on a weekly for a second. OK, so you're. The 109.33, okay, 110.07. Yeah, you know, this very well may be going for this uh, 100 point, point uh, 27, which right now, the 30 year is yielding 4.16, and the high is 4.17. US, let's go to the 30 year, take a look at the 30 year. Thirty has 298,000 contracts traded. And the 30 had already blown out its lows. So let me go to the... G 
generic contract to see where we think we're going here. Put this on a monthly, a five, I'm gonna put this on a five year monthly. Uh -huh, I gotta do it longer than that, okay. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. I see, so the 30 is probably going after 117. 117 is, yeah, 11720 is the number. I mean, we did. Yeah, we didn't. Need, we didn't make a 0 .618 retracement on that on this last bounce. Four week, you know, the the high would have been uh, five weeks ago. So that says it can blow away those bottoms. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract, you know, is teetering right at the swing point right now. You know, it held out here today, but that swing point. It, Relating with is uh, 1969, 1939 rather. We hit 1942. Now the volume's contracting in a monster way. But when you look at the dollar, this is telling me the dollar's going to do an ABC up. We got above the B point just barely today, but we're above it. You can see, here's the B point. We're above it, man. So the bottom line is that your projection is all the way up here. The projection on an ABC up would be that 104.670. That is a monster move. And what would be really weird is that if we came down after that. <laughs> See, you know what's so interesting, folks? I've said this many times before, that you can always project. When you look at markets, markets always look like they're doing any uh, head and shoulders, bottoms, or top. But look at this. <clears throat> if you're projecting, it's like, oh, hold it. Are you going to go up there, then pull back? That would like be a monster head and shoulders bottom. You know, huge head, you get a shoulder, you go up there, you pull back again. Hey, we'll see what this is going to be. Maybe she's going to shake out. But you, you have a lot of moving pieces here right now. There's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the, the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 99. NASDAQ is down 90. S&Ps are off 5. We have the gold contract down four. We'll come right back.